Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome. Newbies in between them. I oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love, healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings. Okay, I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings. Okay, I am just blessed and I am deeply appreciative. And I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy and I am also raising two beautiful boys. But know that every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected, me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Mm -hmm. Hey, my loves, again, I want to thank you for coming to my channel and entrusting in me my gifts, my knowledge, and my wisdom to help you along your sacred journeys. Thank you, Spirit, for backing me up. <laughs> um, thank you for all of those that comment, share, donate, um, like the video. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, thank you for also the likes for my community post. I am here to help, never to hinder, and during and even after every reading, I'm always sending you love, healing, and protection energy, okay? Um, didn't get to put a video out yesterday because just super swamped and busy, um, a lot going on. Um, but yeah, I wish I could talk more about it, but can't right now. Plus, I'm in the uh, process of moving again, which I am super excited about. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to the reading and see what is going on, okay? Um, if you haven't yet, please go follow my second channel, Kyra's Love Messages. That's all good vibes. It's all about love over there. Um, and I appreciate those that have already um, went and subscribe and support my second channel, okay? This is, you know, more so the spiritual warfare, but also good messages come out on this channel, but that channel is strictly positive, okay? Strictly. Um, but yeah, we're going to get right into it. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. My readings are timeless, so whenever you appear into my readings, they will resonate accordingly, okay? past, present, or future. That's always how, you know, the energy is flowing. And that's why you have to see where this message resides in your life, okay? Whether it's the past, present, or the future. And remember, you are the alchemist of your reality, of your life, all right? I'm just giving you the energy that is being presented, even if past people are still watching you. Even if past people are still obsessed with you, it, it happens, okay? I'm giving you the energy. You can alchemize it, <clears throat> and you can basically sway it to your benefit, whichever way you want this situation to go, okay? 
I give you advice as well. If you need to learn any lessons or stop any type of behaviors or patterns or, you know, take a look at your belief system, I give you um, advice to do that. That also helps change the frequency and the energy, okay? But um, we're going to get right into it, okay? I call upon God first and foremost the angels that are assigned to us, me and the collective, our spirit team, passed on loved ones, um, ancestors, high ranking deities and orishas that God has allowed these beautiful benevolent beings and spirits to help us, love us, guide us and protect us. Thank you first and foremost. Um, we ask of you to continue to protect us from any negative energy, negative projections, gossip, slander, all right, um, negative people, um, people that are evil eyeing or sending the evil eye, uh, witchcraft, black magic, all right, unclean spirits, demons, or jinns. Um, any of this that is trying to affect our well being, our movement forward, our purpose, okay, and our faith in you. We ask of you to please return it back to sender, okay. Amen, mode it be. And if it has come on its own, we ask you to rid it from our environment, our homes, our lives, our state of minds, okay? Because sometimes what I'm being told is um, because you're so high vibing, um, you may go to a place where it's a lot of um, just low energy, <clears throat> And that's where unclean spirits and, you know, more so demonic jinns and demons reside. So they may get attracted to you. So they may even come on their own. So we want to also, you know, purge, release, and detoxify the collective, you know, and also myself from any of those um, unhinged satanic evil uh, jinns or demons all right we're gonna get right into it y'all i'm more mellow i have been running 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 <laughs> so we're gonna get to it we're not gonna make this long either we're gonna see what's going on uh, i want to start with the kipper to get one from the kipper and then but also block any interferences during this message thank you thank you thank you uh, yeah all right, so let's see what's going on. Let's see. I'm going to try to put out two videos today for you guys. So look out for that. If not, don't worry. I'll be back the following day. Okay? All right, let's see what's going on. You know what? I was picking this up, like, heavily before I even started this reading. Like, a lot is going to occur in the near future. I'm trying to tell you. Like, when I say near, I mean near. I'm hearing weeks to months. You're going to see a lot happen to certain individuals. That is what I was picking up heavily. That's why Spirit said, pick up the kip kipper. <laughs> pick up the kipper. Yeah, you're going to see a lot happen to specific individuals coming up weeks to months i'm trying to tell you they are already in spiritual um prison like if they're trying to escape karma or escape their consequences if they're trying to flee the country or the state they can't that they're, they're unprotected they're getting no type of help you know on this earthly realm and in the spiritual realm like that's what i was picking up heavily so I just wanted to get one. That's funny. Y'all, my intuitive gifts have definitely upgraded. <laughs> and I be getting crazy dreams and then they come to fruition. Even my son be like, mom, you wildin'. <laughs> That's what he say. That's the kid's lingo nowadays. You wildin', mom. <laughs> I love my kid. All right. <clears throat> Let's see, what's gonna happen literally in the near future. What's going on? Yeah, you will no longer be bothered or affected 
by certain people. I'm trying to tell you. You still have people that are trying to come up against you. <laughs> Believe it or not, you do. And it's because this is still in your possession. This is still in your energy. This is still yours. Jackpot, right? You're going to win money. You're going to get rich somehow. You're going to be given an inheritance or God, you know, your ancestors are giving you, helping you manifest your inheritance. All right. If someone hasn't passed on and given you an inheritance, you're going to get unexpected money and you're going to be able to invest. You're going to be able to buy the things you want. You're going to do, I'm hearing right by the money that God is giving you to the point where you're going to make intuitive decisions to invest in really lucrative businesses or investments and you're going to be making residual money like while you're sleeping you're making money you're going to be investing in the right companies some of you guys are going to be doing real estate whatever you choose to take this money and invest it in use your intuition because your intuition that is you're going to get a really huge gut feeling when you're about to invest in a specific investment or investments and that's how you know that's the right ones because these ones are going to like I'm hearing million dollar million dollars for sure like I'm hearing a million dollar turnover but yeah in the near future the people that's been trying to like trap you trying to affect you like and it's on a consistent basis you will no longer be affected i'm trying to tell you yeah you will be sitting on a yacht somewhere some of you guys are going to take vacation going to a different island i know me per se i am ready to go to another island i've been to four i've also been to italy i love traveling um some of you guys are going to have enough money to travel i'm trying to tell you <laughs> but one thing i keep hearing is invest your money wisely invest your money in um opportunities to where you don't have to put in little to no effort and it's I'm here and will guide you to those investments. Just be open to the risk. Be open to the opportunity. Okay. Yeah, we have jackpot here. And you, you, I'm trying to tell you, you will be set up for life. That's what I'm being told. So this is, this is beautiful. I really felt like this reading was going to be for you. And that's why I said, let me do a second reading. Because I feel like that's going to be more geared towards other people. But... These people are getting locked up, but they are in spiritual jail and they're going to be in spiritual jail for a long time so that you can, you know, not be bothered anymore. So you can come into fully embrace and enjoy in each present moment your divine inheritance that you've worked so hard for. Yeah, these people just hold grudges <laughs> and it's like they're not letting up. So, you know, God, your angels and your spirit team is like, fine, you know, we got to get them out of the way. Okay. That's what I'm hearing, y'all. Let's get one more. Uh, what's the vibe? What's the vibe? Yeah, these people will be watching you from fake accounts because a lot of these people you have blocked or you have set your account on private so you can enjoy, you know, your privacy. Eventually, you're going to be more public, but you're not going to publicize your investments or your opportunities until it's solidified, until it's guaranteed. So you're private, but people are watching you, okay? People that don't want you to know that they're watching is watching you from fake accounts, social media, account spying, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc., YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you, you're not going to have anything to worry about. So I wouldn't worry right now. Like, you know, sit in that energy right now. What is there to really worry about, right? 
this is why I put that quote up like it's no need to get your get back because God is going to get it way better than you could have even imagined or you could have came up with a plan yourself that's why I just leave well enough alone <laughs> and uh, keep going and beautiful opportunities keep coming in and you know you you keep some things private some things you can publicize you know you'll know the difference I, I feel like you are figuring it out which is great my loves okay that's what I'm being told you're figuring it out okay so let's see in the near future let's clarify unbothered okay yeah, you are not going to be bothered by these people that are toxic. They have bad habits. They are disconnected from reality is what I'm being told. Like, honestly, disconnected from reality. They really need to um, get help, okay? But also, this could be you, right? Clarifying unbothered. You are on a yacht somewhere sipping mimosas, sipping champagne, Okay, or if you don't drink sparkling water, all right, some of you guys smoke up the ganja, okay, smoking a little bit of weed. It is a bad habit, um, which Spirit is saying, do not abuse it, but if you want to, you know, get a little drink, you want to smoke up the ganja, you can do that just for a celebratorial um, state of mind, but do not get addicted to that. Okay, that is a side message. But what I'm really picking up is these people that have really bad habits, like they make really bad decisions. Um, they're irresponsible. They do not know how to save or budget. They do not know how to invest properly. Um, they have a very negative mindset. They have a bad relationship with money. Um, these people will no longer be able to bother you anymore. I'm hearing bad influences, okay? And you know what relationships you have with these people or had, okay? So let's clarify, um, faded. Yeah, perfect match, gut feeling, soul connection. Didn't I say you're going to get that gut feeling about what? to invest in. I'm hearing your yeah, clarification. I'm hearing who to invest in as well. But I feel like you have people that, okay, you are introduced to or you just come across. You could be on vacation. You could have gotten a new job. You could go to a new place to shop for as far as clothes or groceries. Um, you could just be out and about and you just meet certain people or certain people are drawn to you and Maybe you chop it up meaning like you talk to them for a little bit You might even go out. You might even smoke with them You might even have a drink with these people like this could have happened in the past or the recent past Okay, or this could be happening now because remember distant horizon is the future like the near future um, You could that's what I'm saying you got to put yourself where you belong some of you are like partying, smoking, drinking with people that you feel like is, you know, your best friend, people that you feel like, you know, is your perfect match when it comes to love, people that you feel like you have a deep connection with, but, you know, it's, it's I'm hearing it, it just can't be furthest from the truth, and like, and our spirit wants you to open your eyes, um, whether this is a friend um, a lover, someone you're dating, someone you could just be, in, you know, having a good time with. Um, these people all deem you to be like the one, especially in love situations. They look at you as like you are the one. Now, when it comes to like friends or friends that you deem as family, they look at you as bro or sis, but they have really bad habits. They have really bad habits. Um, even those that look at you as the one like the perfect match they have they have really bad habits that all right so some of these people have actually genuine intentions that's, that's what i am energetically picking up right but their bad habits their unhealed wounds their um 
not having the capability to look at themselves and change, right, to heal. That is what is pushing you away from these people. I'm going to be honest. So this imprisonment could just meaning, you know, they want to keep you with them. You know, everybody's not going to prison. But a lot of these people, you know, that have done you dirty in the, uh, the behind the scenes, in the background, they are spiritually in jail. Like nothing is going right for them. None of the manifestations or the things or the investments or the jobs or the money or the house or whatever they're trying to get is not coming to fruition because they're in spiritual prison, okay? But some of these people, so it's like three different messages. Some of these people are going to actual prison and they're in spiritual prison. Some of these people are just in spiritual prison to where they are going to fall into poverty. Like everything is going to fail for them. And then you have other people that they just are, are you know, smokers, drinkers. They just have bad habits that they refuse to change. And unfortunately, you can't take these people with you. You just can't. Um, I don't really feel like these people have hate for you. But I feel like they are going to start having a grudge towards you because you have left those type of people behind like they didn't have bad intentions but they're gonna get their feelings hurt because you can't take them with you you can't because they're they're toxic they're low vibrational you're gonna constantly have to lower yourself down to these people um and i feel like i'm not even gonna lie like you do have people that are mad at you that want to start drama that have been affecting you your mindset your relationships your money or trying to behind the scenes um, then you have another group of people that um i really feel like you have love for these people <laughs> i don't really pick it up like family friends even like you know some people that you've dated maybe you kept in contact or whatever but once you release yourself from these people they are going to definitely try to start some drama and hold a grudge so you already got some haters that's just going to be haters no matter how good of a person you are or people you know realize that you are they just always going to be hating then you have people that are just really genuine towards you but they have really bad habits man and it's i'm i'm gonna be frank and honest it's either them or you is what i've and being told and of course you're going to pick yourself and even though you're like damn you know that you feel like these friends are real friends or whoever you're dating because that's what i'm getting you're dating someone or whoever you're in a commitment with you feel like that's the person but if they constantly are smoking drinking they're disconnected from their you know bad habits bad behaviors bad decisions, that they're unaware, they're unawoken, you know, they haven't really took the time to really heal, take accountability, to, you know, to reflect, to look at themselves on what they really need to change to be better, but they're just, I'm hearing aimlessly roaming through life for some of them, you just, you're going to have to disconnect. And what I'm telling you is it is, it is going to make them look at you uh, negatively. But spirit, you know, God wants you to know that you're protected okay yeah plot twist you're protected okay you're protected so that's what i'm really getting like in the future you are going to be untouchable like you are untouchable now but these people for some of you you're still hanging around certain people that are toxic i'm gonna be honest or you're with certain people that are toxic in the future, you're going to get rid of these people and they are going to be mad. I'm going to, be, I'm going to keep it a bean, right? Some of you have already gotten rid of these people, okay, um, that have bad habits and you realize who your haters or your secret enemies were and you've gotten rid of these people, but they've been doing everything behind the scenes to affect you. Well, a lot of these people are, I'm trying to tell you, going to jail. I'm hearing incapacitated. I'm hearing, um, wow, with this faded, some people are going to have overdoses. Some people are going to be unalived. Um, some people are going to be so piss poor that they're, they're not going to have a cell phone. Um, 
to watch you. Uh, the reason why I'm pausing is because I heard, I'm going to just go to the library. But what I heard after that is they're not even going to remember their password so that they can stalk you. So these people are not going to have access to you pretty much is the reason why you're going to sit up here and be unbothered. You're going to be able to attain the inheritance that these people were contingent. I mean, routinely trying to block you from it's going to come through and uh, i'm trying to tell you they are going to try to ask a friend of a friend or they are going to try to go to the library to look at you know what you got going on but they're they're not going to be able to do anything anymore to bother you yep so you gotta take it where it resonates some of y'all still have to let people go others of y'all you've already done so others of you guys you know, um, in the near future, like, if people, like you say, you've let these people go and they're just constantly trying to start drama, trying to gang stalk you from fake accounts, trying to ruin your reputation, doing witchcraft for you, like, just still doing the most. I'm trying to tell you, these people, I'm here incapacitated. I mean, you can look that up, but I feel like these people are not going to be able to do it no more. Uh, that's what I'm I'm feeling. And they do it more when they're like high. Uh, high off of pills, high off of alcohol, high off of uh, weed. Like, they get into their feelings. Like, oh my God, that, that was my best friend. Or, oh my God, you know, we, you know, that was the perfect match for me. But, you know, a lot of these people treated you wrong. I ain't gonna lie. And those that didn't, they, you couldn't continue to hang around them because they refused to heal. It's not the fact that you hated them or you, you have no love for them or you wanted to leave. It's just those that choose to do the work can reside beside you, but those that don't, you can't because you're not responsible for these adults. Like, And now they're going to try to turn into a hater or an enemy. And it just is what it is. When you pick yourself... You, that's what happens but they're all going to still feel like you know damn you were the perfect friend the perfect family member the perfect lover the perfect partner jackpot yeah real talk spill talk you know i'm talking some real shit here I'm, i can't make it up heart to heart deep convo in person yeah i'm trying to tell you <laughs> you always kept it real that's what i said it, 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 People that you have let go of or you need to, they're going to be mad. They may even try to start drama because they're going to hold a grudge, but it just is what it is. You can't, and I feel like you would never try to change anybody. It's up to them, but you cannot allow these people to drag you down either. And that's what they're doing unknowingly by not using you as an example to do better, to want better, you know? And then the people that just are pure haters and, and, and enemies, you know, I mean... It comes with the territory, man. <laughs> a lot of you guys are meant to be in the public eye. A lot of you guys are meant to be the example. You know what I'm saying? Like on a high scale or, or even on a medium scale, never on a low scale. You know what I'm saying? And uh, people are just going to be mad. Well, when I tell you God is getting these people out of your way so you can finally enjoy and pull in, like a leaf us to get a lot of money. I'm going to be real. Um, that's what... God is doing. And these people are pressed to stop it. They are. They're pressed. <laughs> They're pressed, man. And fake accounts. Let's clarify this. Yeah. Yeah, these people are seeing you take risk, right? You don't know that these people are watching you, but you can feel it intuitively. Um, leap of faith, no regrets, new endeavors. Yeah, these people are watching you take risk. And these risks are leading you to you know, better opportunities, a better job, better people, um, a, a better location, I'm hearing better weather, um, gaining opportunities to where, like I said, you will be getting money in your sleep, okay, coming into your bank account, um, investing in the right people and the right investments, investing in the right job, investing in the right business, investing in yourself. You're going to be able to take many vacations, like you're going to be unbothered and you're going to have or you may already have, you know, someone to share it with, okay? Let's clarify real talk, real talk, okay? 
I thought something I just flipped over. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be clear. Real talk, you a whole baddie out here. You're a divine feminine. Let's be clear here. Or you're a um, high-level soulmate with sensual goddess. Okay? You're a divine feminine or you're a sensual goddess. Period. Point blank. You a fucking baddie. And it took a lot of work to get here. And the hard decisions is truly letting people go that we know have good intentions, but they're not good for us. And, and there's people out there. <laughs> Everybody's not intentionally trying to fuck you over. Like some people just refuse to to heal. Some people just refuse to, you know, look at themselves. But then they carry this bad energy, this low vibe. They carry these bad behaviors, this um, really toxic mindset. But in their heart, they love you. You know, they have good intentions. It is people out there like that. But you have to choose you, even, you mm. know, when it comes to those people. And you can definitely sit them down and have a real conversation with them. But... It's up to them, up to them to ingest what you're telling them. It's up to them to understand. And sometimes people ain't gonna understand. They're gonna call you, oh, you think you better, you bougie, whatever. Whatever they whatever they say. You just don't pay no mind. Because you know who you are. You know exactly who you are. And you know, you know, you have to make sacrifices and you have to move differently and you can't hang around certain people and you can't do the same thing as everybody else, because you can't. You know this. That's why, you know, you've cut a lot of these people off, okay? Secret ops, enemies, and people that weren't your enemies, but they just they just have to grow within themselves. And hopefully you do pray for them. You do send them healing that they would heal so that maybe y'all could reconnect because they haven't done anything wrong to you. It is people here that have not done anything wrong, but they just toxic in their own right. And then you, if you're anything like me, I pray for people like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I pray that you get your healing and we can reconnect. You know what I'm saying? But some people that have done you dirty purposely, hell no. <laughs> hell no. It's over, okay? Um, risk it all. What is this? Risk it all. Yeah. People have risked it all to basically uh, affect you financially. That's what they were doing. Trying to have you financially struggle and the deficit and now it's falling back upon them but i'm not trying to say that it's everybody here i do feel like a group of people maybe maybe one or two or three people that really love you but they just have bad habits man and you just had to like gracefully let them go for now and pray for their healing but then you have another group of people that I'm picking up on that was taking all types of leaps of faiths to uh, affect you financially, you know, by any means necessary. And these are the people that are going to be incapacitated. These are the people that are in spiritual jail. Some of these people will go to actual jail and you will be over here unbothered as they watch you from fake accounts. You know, phones somehow end up in jail too. And these people are so obsessed with you that they are going to try to See what you're doing via if they're in jail. That's what I'm being told. Let's clarify. I'm EBT real quick. Yeah, these are, I'm trying to tell you, these are people that wanted to rebound. You could have rejected it. Like, nah, I'm cool. I'm celibate. I don't want to have sex. For some of you, you know, we're all perfectly imperfect. This is a judgment free zone. You probably did rebound when you were separated from someone that you were in a relationship with, a marriage with, a partnership with, and you rebound with this person. And this person thought you were the perfect person. And because you probably were like, no, nah, I'm cool, because you saw them for who they are, you know, they got into their toxic ass mindset, smoking, drinking, and uh, took leaps of faith to affect you financially because they were holding a grudge. So they started a lot of drama in your life. Because they hated the fact that you, whatever, you could have a spiritual business or you could just be very religious, very spiritual. Okay, and they hated that shit. And now their ego has gotten them into trouble. Okay, this could be a boss daddy of some sort or someone that presents themselves to be a boss daddy or a boss mama. But they're not. They're a faker. And even if they do have a lot of money, like, they're not going to sit up here and try to, you know, I'm hearing just flaunt money in your face and expect you to do whatever they want fuck no so you dodge this person i mean these cars are in sync <laughs> you dodge this person and now they're haunted because of what whatever they did 
to affect you financially. I'm trying to tell you to help them gain financially on their end. But it's all backfiring. Don't get it. This could be someone we saw, right? Rebound, love affair. This could be someone that you had a love affair with, right? This person, because you chose to not continue the love affair or to reject the love affair, they were cyberbullying you, having other women or men cyberbully you. That's what I'm saying. Trying to steal from you. I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm picking up heavy on for one energy, okay? And this person going to jail, they're already in spiritual jail. Everything is crumbling in their life. Okay, but they're trying to still pretend like they're a boss man or a boss woman. Yeah, you still don't want nothing to do with them. Okay, they realize that they got real bad in their ego. They're going through, you know, the dark night of the soul, and um, it's good for them. Hopefully, they come out on the other side a changed man or woman. Okay, that's what I say. This person definitely wants to DM you, but friends that you probably have like slowly cut off communication with because you're focused on bettering yourself, they also want to talk to you. <sighs> when it comes to these friends, um, yeah, they miss you. <laughs> they miss you. They miss you. That's what I say, yeah. But they know that you are adulting, like you're doing what's best for you. They know this. That's what I'm saying. I, I love... I don't know, you, you probably will reconnect with these friends that just had bad habits, like, you know, but they're not bad people, you know, I feel like you are going to reconnect with them in the future because they understand that, you know, you're trying to create a better life for yourself, but then you have other people that are just pure haters, other people that want to steal from you, do magic on you, you know, these are the people that are being exiled indefinitely out of your uh, energy, out of your life. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you have whoever this uh boss man or boss woman is, they want to pop up out of nowhere because you're 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 perfect to this person. And they want to cuff you, they want to come towards you, but just to put you in some type of entanglement. That's why you're blocking this person, like right? you already hip to the bullshit. Okay. Let's get a zodiac sign. Okay, let's see a zodiac sign. Um, this could be your zodiac sign that comes out for for extra confirmation. Okay, my loves. But um, who are this boss man, boss woman, and the people that were basically um, helping this person in the future? I'm trying to tell you, it's it. They're not going to be able to affect you. It's just that simple. We have Sagittarius. Leo. Taurus, Libra, Scorpio. Um, for some of y'all, this could definitely be family, siblings. Is also what I'm being told. So, it's not just love situations. These are friends, siblings, um, friends you call family, coworkers. Um, people you could have met through friends is also what I'm hearing. Okay, so this is why it's important to put yourself where you belong, but yeah, then we have at the bottom Aries. Okay. So Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Leo, and Sag that have a grudge towards you and that started a lot of drama in your life because they hate your beliefs. Okay, some of you have a spiritual business. They were hating on that. Okay, but their ego just got them nowhere. <laughs> it's just that simple. It just got them nowhere. It's going to continue to get them nowhere. Okay, as you continue in the future, you're going to be unbothered. I'm trying to tell you, if you're still dealing with any of these signs in the future, you're going to be released and they're no longer going to be able to affect you. I mean, that's pretty much the message. They will be watching you for fake accounts, but that's all they'll want to be able to do. Some people are not even going to have the money or the um, privilege 
to even do that because some are going to be ill, locked up. Some of these people are going to be homeless. Okay, we also have Capricorn. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much what it is, boo. Let me get some advice. And that's it. We're not trying to make these readings too long. Straight to the point. So in the near future, you can look forward to being at peace. Like, all this shit is over with. But just be mindful of the people that, you know, you bring in. Just as you're going to have really, you know, beautiful soul family, the devil will try to sneak back in. So just keep your discernment high. Keep your head on a swivel and stay alert. Okay? So let's get some advice for you, for the collective. Never ending story. Yeah, these people don't want this shit to end. I'm trying to tell you. But you are deserving of that milk and honey. And it's going to end. Okay? <laughs> yeah, these people don't want this shit to end. A relationship, their friendship, this battle that they are in with you, but you didn't even know you were in. Siphoning or taking your energy to manifest in their life. Your good luck, your protection. Yep. Some of these people, um, if you've rebounded with a particular person, they didn't want that shit to end and they got any feelings about it. Okay. And then they did the most. Okay. <laughs> the most is what I want. Yeah, they, I'm trying to tell you, these people didn't want this shit to end, but it's over. Like, um, even the people, I'm going to be real, to have good intention. Like, I'm hearing, like, if you let these people go and you move to a completely new city, stage, or region, or whatever, to better yourself or for better opportunities or whatever, they were mad at first, but they, they realized why you've done it, okay? Um, and they also wanted you to keep going round and round with them. And you were like, I'm tired. Like, you got the hell off the hamster wheel and you're moving forward, okay? When it comes to even people, like I said, that have good intentions, but they have, you know, still a lot to heal within themselves. Um, then you have the other people that just wanted to keep this shit going. Like, no. <laughs> it's like, no. Absolutely not. Yeah. Message in a bottle. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Be careful. It's just, these are really like um, heads up messages because these, these people want to, want to keep it going. I'm going to be real. If you get messages from people that you had to let go of, but they have good intentions, but they have not healed, it's just best to let them go or just to love them from afar, right? You may keep contact here and there, but don't tell any type of crucial information. I'm going to be real. Um you got people that are still in competition with you that want to come back. They have been watching you from fake accounts. They cannot be caught watching you from their original account, okay? Because they want to keep being hidden. <clears throat> and these people want to message you like you don't already know who these people are. For some of you, you don't, okay? But just be alert. Keep your head on a swivel. If someone ghosted you, if someone didn't give you any type of quality time, never really was there for you, if someone puts you in an entanglement, if someone, you know, chose others over you, if someone just wanted to keep you as a rebound or in a situationship or friends with benefits or friend zoned you and never gave you the option of real commitment, if someone just wants you around to, you know, because you look good or you got a lot of money or you always pay for stuff or you're genuine, like you just got to be careful. Like, if that's some of the scenarios that I'm picking up. Do not, do not even entertain these people, please. Because they just want this cycle to not fucking end. If you're in a relationship with someone that has terrible habits, like just have a heart to heart with this person and let it go. Because this cycle is going to keep going nowhere. Yeah, poise, be gracious. You know, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Uh, People want to come back because they don't want they don't want you know you to get away. That's what I'm getting. And family, friends, exes, 
family that you call friends. I keep hearing all that. Like they're all watching you. <laughs> but yeah, they're all watching you. Their fate. I just shuffled the deck. Fate. Because you're fated for that milk and honey, great things. Yeah. Yeah. And they want a piece of it. I mean, that's just the facts. Yeah. Yeah, people want to clean up. I'm trying to tell you, people want to clean up how they treated you, um, if they projected onto you, whatever they did to you, unappreciating you, picking other people over you, not acknowledging you. I mean, it, it's a lot. These people want to clean it up and mend because you're in for, you know, a happy fate, <laughs> right? But I wouldn't trust these people right after that, you know, with glitters, is, all that glitters is not gold, man. Whatever they are meant to go through, it is fair. It is fair. So continue to move on from these people. Take that leap of faith. Come to the edge. And Spirit is saying, do it now if you haven't already done it. Do not be in two minds about it. Okay? Because deep down inside, you know. You know that, you know, these people that you need to leave behind or you have left behind, this community, they, they ain't for you, baby. They not. Okay? I'm going to just keep it a bean. You know? But I'm going to leave it there, my loves. Okay? This is the message. You're doing great. In the future, you're going to be unbothered. You're going to have a lot of money. You're going to live the life you want. Get what you want is what I'm being told. Um, and people are going to watch. People are going to try to come back, message you, just to have you go come back on this, you know, hamster wheel of just toxicity, stagnant, stagnation, and trying to compete, and all types of shit. Don't even do it. Some people may even call you from prison. Okay? 444. Four, four. Until next time, you know I love you to life, y'all. All right? Bye!